Okay, here's number three. I apologize in advance if I have the hiccups because I just had like this massive bout and I had to take a little bit of a break in between recording these parts. Anyways, like I said, I would definitely recommend Cupcake Trees. Uh, next, I would say this was pretty good. It was SaversYouKeep.com. Um, signature wedding posters, customizable cartoon type pictures that guests can sign. It was really fun. They had cart sort of, they could have like bridal husband cartoons. They also had, um, sign of, kind of cartoonized versions of all the main cities like, you know, Phoenix, Seattle, um, Denver, LA, um, stuff like that. Uh, and you can just have people sign these wall size posters instead of like a guest book or something. That was kind of cool. I don't think we're going to get it, but it was sort of a neat idea and it was pretty good price. Um, for something that would hold 500 signatures was only $109. Um, and that's cool. Like I think, um, they also had, um, blooming flowers and basically what it was like, you got like this little tiny, um, a shape and uh, as a favor and you could take it home and plant it. It was already ready to go. It would bloom flowers and they were continuously blooming like they would die obviously and in the next spring they would come up again and I just thought that was kind of cool because every time the people that planted them saw the flowers they think of Glenn and I. Um, I might actually get those. If we have extra money, I might get some of those, because those are neat. Um, yeah, I would definitely go there. They had, um, lots of stuff. They also have, like, gifts and little mini games for bachelor parties, bachelorette parties, all that stuff. Um, let me see. Just a few more, I think. Um. Like, it, take, it took me so much longer to do this than read it out to you guys. Um, I would definitely look at this site. Um, it is called RebeccaWellings.com. R-E-B-E-C-C-A Wellings.com. Um, she does pretty invitations. They're gorgeous. Um, she has, like, kind of neat favors that you haven't seen everywhere, um, and the prices are decent. They're not amazing, but they're not horrible either. So I'd recommend going there if you kind of want something different than just generic, regular invitations. We're making ours, but like I said, you know, if you have the money or whatever. Um, actually, hers weren't too bad. We probably could afford hers, but we're still going to make them. Just kind of like a personal touch. Um, okay. So this next site, I, I literally, I put no, and then I circled it like ten times. I think it was horrible. Um, it's called gildascreations.com, and she makes jewelry. And the jewelry is completely ugly. I have no idea how she made it into a bridal magazine unless she paid to have her... Um, thing advertised because it's hideous. They have so many collections. She just has like, and they're all ugly. They're made with, um, Swarovski, I think I'm saying that right, crystals, but they're so chunky. They look like, I don't know, um, remember when you were like girls at least and they're little, if you had those make your own jewelry kits and you got like those big kind of clear plasticky beads and then like hot pink heart beads and you know when you were little you thought those were cool but you would never wear them now that's pretty much what it looked like you know you could tell they were crystals they were very high priced especially for being so ugly like I saw a necklace on there it was completely ugh, I don't know it was just horrible and it was like six hundred dollars um so like really if you just want to like laugh or gag a little bit you should probably go to that site but uh, I wouldn't even look into it at all. Uh, she had a collection even called Red Carpet, and I, I'm not a big star follower, but I can't imagine any stars except for maybe, like, Lady Gaga wearing any of this stuff. 
And I don't know if she would. It was just horrible. So definitely not that. Obviously, you can tell that that diet gets me. <laughs> um, let me see. I don't know. Oh, okay, yeah. Etsy.com. E-T-S-Y. Oh my gosh, I love this site. Uh, it's not all wedding. They have good prices. They've got so many different things. A lot, like, a lot of it, if not all, I don't remember, is handmade. Um, you can request things made. So if you don't see it on there and you see someone that does similar stuff, you can request it. Um, they have wedding gowns on there. Um, I didn't care for the wedding gowns too much, but they weren't horrible by any means. Um, I just wouldn't wear them, I don't think. But they had... Um, tiaras and hair pieces and um, baskets and um, it was really awesome. I like it. So Etsy.com, definitely recommend that. Um, I think that's all really. Those are all my goods and bads. I didn't read all the maybes. There was a lot of maybes. Um, like I said, um, I don't know where my, I'm unsure right now as to where my wedding magazines are, but, um, there was, oh gosh, probably over a hundred, I definitely haven't gone through them, probably won't, but there's definitely over a hundred sites, and the ones I looked at, a lot of them were pretty much the same thing, um, like, oh, we offer bridesmaid gifts. It was all like the same sort of thing, you know. You might see a bridesmaid tote bag at one spot and then see another. And the only thing that was different was the lettering or how it was, you know. Um, so, so the ones I recommended, they had very unique things, things I didn't see before. I don't remember it all because I'm tired because I work all day. And it's been like three weeks since I've looked at these. But, um,. So yeah, I hope that helps at all, helps somebody. <laughs> um, just don't waste your time, especially if you don't have that time. Because I was seriously looking through stuff for like three hours, and I found what, like three or four that I would definitely recommend. Um, so yeah. And I'm definitely a do-it-yourself person. If you can do it yourself, I definitely recommend doing it yourself. I thought of so many fun ideas just for centerpieces and decorations and stuff, um, and it'd be way cheaper than the stuff I saw on these sites, you know? I saw, like, just regular aisle runners that were, like, 200 bucks just because they had fancy embroidery on them, and I'm like, I'm gonna walk down it once, and then I'll never take it out of the box again, so I don't need an aisle runner. Just stuff like that, like, think about that when you're... You might want to have everything, but what are you going to do with it afterwards? Unless you have little sisters that you know for sure are going to want to use your stuff, why bother? Um, you'll put it away in a box, and then on your 50th anniversary, you'll look at it and be like, oh, this is the rug that I walked down the aisle on. How exciting. Um, anyways, that was my little rant right there. Um... I will be back next week. I don't know what I'm going to do. Probably hairstyles because I'm really freaking out about hair right now because I have no idea what I'm going to do. I've looked at a couple magazines and my mom sent me pictures and I've looked online and I'm still like, oh, I have no idea. So I'll do that. Um, hope you guys enjoyed watching and um, watch for me next week. Bye.